y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Katie and I make stuff vegan. Okay, so boom. Today, I'm turning two of the foods that I really, really, really don't like, parsley and eggplant, into foods that are absolutely delicious. That's right, I'm making baba ganoush and tabbouleh. I don't know why I hate eggplant so much. Well, I feel like that's like a, a consensus. It's a weird vegetable, fruit, I don't know. It's very strange, it tastes vile. I have given up on it unless it's in baba ganoush. And I don't know, like parsley is just so ugh to me. Like it's all fragrant and weird. It just, bleh. but when you make some baba ganoush and tabbouleh and you put them together in a little plate, I'm gonna show you the little Mediterranean plate I made, baby. You gonna love it. And if you don't know what baba ganoush is, it'll be your new favorite thing. It's way better than hummus. Hummus is good, especially like fresh hummus. But this is so much better and I was so excited that I could make it vegan. If you want to see how I did it, keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also don't forget the link to the detailed recipe will be in the description box below. Okay, let's get crack a lack let's get to it, let's do it. Let's start. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking an eggplant. Crazy how an eggplant made it into my kitchen and I'm cutting the um the ends off eggplant so strange look at it I tried to like eggplant like I've tried to do like a little roasted vegetable thing you know with the zucchini and the squash and you put it on it's I've given up but I'm cutting it the ends off and I'm cutting it lengthwise on the middle because I'm about to roast it yet okay so the basis of baba ganoush is roasted eggplant it will be way way better if you grilled this but I don't got that so I'm gonna fake it, <laughs> okay? I'm taking some liquid smoke, and really, liquid smoke will embarrass you, okay? If you use too much of it. So I'm just taking like two drops of each one. I probably could have afforded like one more to be completely frank, but I didn't want to chance it, you know what I'm saying? So I um, rubbed that on top, and what I should have done in retrospect is put the salt and pepper on first, but because it just absorbed it in this really weird way. I don't know, eggplant, somebody pray for eggplant. It's very strange. Okay, and then I liberally went in with salt and pepper. And I did this on both sides. Uh, I feel like that was kind of unnecessary, especially since I'm gonna discard the skins later. But you know what, we cover our bases. We don't want nothing to be ashy. We don't want nobody to be left out. We want no bland food, period, okay? So this is in the oven. I roasted it for like an hour. Okay, I'm taking some bulgar. Um, and this is for my tabbouleh, okay? While I was roasting, I'm not gonna lie, I practiced. I want, I want to do something after <laughs> several hours later, but you know what? That's my business. Okay, and I did it this way, but I ended up having to like boil it on the stove because I heard that you can really cover it up and just leave it, but it ain't work for me. So just prepare your bulgar to your package instructions. Okay, I'm taking a bunch of parsley. It's about two cups of parsley and chopping it up. Not fine, but you know, I just let it do its thing. You know what I'm saying? I ran my thing through, you know, one, two, three and put it in a little bowl that I got from Ikea. Isn't it cute? Like my bowl? Ooh, do you like my bun? Okay, sorry, I'm focused, I'm focused, I'm focused. Okay, I'm taking a medium tomato. I could use more tomato, but it's my last one. So if you wanna use more, use more. I'm taking a medium tomato and I diced it up, added it to the, um, added it to the bowl. And yeah, I was excited because I'm like, ooh, this is starting to look like tabbouleh. <laughs> Easily impressed over here, guys, easily impressed. Okay. I'm taking mint, just so you know, jazzed up a little bit. I really hate mint and savory things. I don't know what it is, but I wanted to put a little bit in there and it was really good. It really, you know, add a little bit to it. I didn't take too much though, I didn't get crazy. I took two tablespoons of dill. What an elite herb, not as elite as rosemary and thyme, but she's up there. And I, I went in with one tablespoon and I was like, nah, you gotta come back with it. This is all reflected in the recipe, don't worry. <laughs> okay, I'm taking the juice of one half of a lemon and that's what I said. Now, the lemon was going through something so I ended up using the whole one. You can use as much as you want. Okay, it's yo tabbouleh. Okay, I'm taking two heaping tablespoons of garlic because would it even be Katie makes it vegan if it wasn't OD on the garlic? No, it wouldn't, period. Okay, and a good amount of olive oil. A good little amount, okay? Salt and pepper to taste, do your thing, however you want it. And yeah, we are gonna mix it up. Melon, okay. <laughs> Melanange. Oh wait, I got ahead of myself. Here's my bulgar. I would recommend letting your bulgar cool off. It didn't do anything to it, but you know, you see how kind of ghetto that is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a cold dish and my bulgar coming in there nice and loud and hot. You know what I'm saying? Like that doesn't really match. 
Let y'all boys our club, okay? Now we gonna melon on it. Now we gonna mix it up. Okay, here's my eggplant all roasted up. It sat in the oven for a, a, a little while, like a couple hours, because you know, I had things to do, okay? But look at it. I wanted to keep this like in real time. It got all like, I was like, it's kind of cool. Look at that. Like it just fell out of the skin. It'll, it will almost fake you. It almost be like, why wow, this is a good vegetable? Okay, so, <laughs> so I removed it from the skins. And um, that's what it looked like. It was it was an interesting experience. I was I was fully involved, fully intrigued. Okay, so I went and strained it. I did a little bit of research on on Baba Good News, you know, before coming up with my own little you know recipe or whatever. And instead of strain it, I thought this was completely unnecessary, and it was just extra stuff for me to wash because I'm about to show you how much liquid I got out of this before I realized that I'm really just squeezing it through the bottom. Uh, don't do it. It's not worth it unless your stuff is runny, runny, girl skip it okay so now i'm taking some um plain vegan yogurt so this is what makes baba ganoush vegetarian and not vegan so that's why i katie makes it vegan made it vegan okay okay i'm taking a good healthy amount of tahini i love tahini so much it's so good and I started mixing it together like prematurely because I was like, yo, this gel look like Baba Ganoush. <laughs> I was so excited. Okay, you see, there go a healthy lemon. Juice a half a lemon, put that jean in there, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then a good amount of garlic, because you know, it's Katie. Gonna put a whole bunch of garlic in there. A good helping of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. Don't be bland. Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, there we go. Some parsley. I almost left it out, guys, but I was trying to be a good sport and it actually tasted really good. So a taste of cumin because cumin cumin comes in and starts talking too loud, okay? You wanna keep it down, okay? And some smoked paprika. Mix that joint up. I'm getting excited all over again. I finished it. <laughs> I finished all of it. Huh. And I made it yesterday. It was so good. Okay, I'm taking this flatbread that I got from Aldi. Some flatbreads really be like vegan on accident. Just check the ingredients. They're hard to find, so once you find it, stick with it. Like Trader Joe's has one too, like a non-style bread, because non is not vegan, but this was. I'm making a little Mediterranean plate. Okay, so I'm taking my tabbouleh. I'm taking my Baba Good News. I get so excited about Baba Good News, just sad. Like, oh my God, what an elite dish okay taking some english cucumbers because like low-key like regular cucumbers be like too cucumbery you know what i'm saying you feel like you picking up what i'm putting down like it'd be too like cucumber you know some onions because katie and some kalamala kalamala this is so good <laughs> kalamala kalamala olives and then i put the bread in there and then boom, 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 there we go y'all this made me so happy. Like, especially like I've been watching like some vloggers lately who have been, you know, in, not right now, cause you know, <laughs> but they like went to a lot of like Middle Eastern countries and they were eating all this food. And I was like, I have to make this. Like I'm tired of looking at it. And it turned out so good. And the tabbouleh tasted even better the next day. And the babaloo tasted even better the next day as expected. Cause you know, we got to sit and like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Take my word for it. Try it out yourself. The link to the detailed recipe is in the description box below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you would never miss any of my videos. Check out my other videos while you are here and I will catch you in the next one. Bye y'all.